Well, welcome back everybody once again to the figure kit garage Brent Krug returning once again for another out-of-the-box review and as you can see on the table in front of me that's right it is the classic 1970s television series Wonder Woman plastic model kit based on the likeness of Linda Carter from Mobius Models I picked this up yesterday at Pegasus Hobbies it is a 1 8 scale kit when fully built stands nine and a half inches tall uh, 20 pieces plus decals for the stars you see on her shorts and this was sculpted by Jeff Yeager uh, most places I've seen this average anywhere between 31 and 35 dollars online I picked this up at Pegasus for $29.99 uh, this is a kit that has been long overdue in its release primarily because of all the shipping problems from overseas but this is a beautifully done kit and I've already taken it out of the box and looked at all the parts and pieces. Uh, Jeff definitely captured the likeness of everybody's fan favorite Wonder Woman, Linda Carter, as she appeared from 19, 1975 to 1979. And we'll pop this, uh, flip this thing over. And there is a completed photo on the back. And you can pose her in one of two ways, deflecting bullets off of her magic bracelets, or you can have her uh, using her golden lasso of truth. And then there's the base all the way at the bottom. This is from the classic television series itself. Uh, this There have been numerous uh, resin kits, 3D printed kits of Wonder Woman. I don't remember if there was ever, I think there was an Aurora plastic kit done of her way long time ago but this is the first one that's been done of Linda Carter who has achieved you know this series gave her the status that she has today she'll always be remembered as Wonder Woman no matter what even making an appearance in the Wonder Woman 1984 film uh, at the very end but this is a kit that for fans of the original television series and I grew up with this when I was a kid uh, this is a definite must-have if you're a fan of it so we will begin with the parts and pieces some of these I did take out some of them I didn't leg pieces with boots very nicely detailed and Jeff did a wonderful job at capturing uh, the likeness of this character as she appeared in the series the design on her outfit and the eagle on her top the camera just does not want to focus right now the belt and the shorts really well captured this is uh, the two pieces of her left arm her hair and her head are actually three separate pieces this is the uh, center part of the hair then you have the back half then you have the head which will glue straight into these pegs and the little uh, bullet ricochet strikes that can be uh, glued to her bracelets uh, shows you how to do that in the directions and you have the face right hand the back of her hair right arm and the static uh, lasso if you choose to have her deflecting bullets you can uh, put that uh, on her waist and the classic television series logo as it would pop up on tv every week when she came on the air i can honestly say i never ever thought i would see a classic wonder uh, linda carter wonder woman model kit ever done and Jeff once again has really really done the, this kit the character justice excuse me having a little problem with English today for some reason I'm not sure why and then here's where it's going to drive me absolutely crazy you get an entire decal sheet for full of stars for her, for her shorts as well as the stars that will go on her bracelets yeah I'll be using Microsoft and Microset a lot with these that's a lot of stars to cut out, soak, and apply. But if I didn't think I couldn't handle it, then I wouldn't have gotten it. And while I'm putting this stuff back in the box, if I can get it all to fit while I'm talking, I'll be absolutely shocked. 
Wonder Woman is considered one of the holy trinity of DC Comics along with Batman and Superman. And surprisingly, I really didn't realize how long Wonder Woman had been around. She's been around for 81 years this coming October. Yeah, October 21st, 1941 was the very first appearance of Wonder Woman in All-Star Comics. That's a hell of a lot of longevity, along with the likes of Batman, Superman, uh, Spider-Man, and so on. Even uh, Captain America appeared in, uh, began appearing in 1941. Uh, this suit, as I said, was based off of her Season 1 outfit. In a little bit of trivia, and this might catch some people off guard, you might be interested to know that Linda Carter was not the first woman to play Wonder Woman. You heard me correctly. Linda Carter was not the first actress to, to portray Wonder Woman. Back in 1974, CBS and Warner Brothers, along with DC Comics, attempted to do a television series and had a pilot movie done, an hour and 15 minute long movie, starring Kathy Lee Crosby as Wonder Woman. Yeah, there's a nice Sunday surprise for you. Kathy Lee Crosby was the first ever live action Wonder Woman. Now sadly that movie was not well received. It did not do very good at all and the idea was scrapped. But Warner Brothers and ABC were not about to give up. And in 1975 they cast a very little known actress by the name of Linda Carter to portray Wonder Woman in a hour plus long pilot movie which was so successful and so faithful to the original look of the comics that it was picked up and the first episode of the series aired in 1976 and would last until 1979. Now, I know a lot of people were hoping and expecting that the second version of her outfit with the shorts being higher cut on the leg was going to show up. Sadly, that wasn't meant to be, and that's okay. This is Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, the classic Wonder Woman that I grew up with as a kid, that a lot of us grew up with as a kid, in a plastic model kit, and the price is so well worth every, you know, every penny you spend on this is so worth it. The detail is beautiful. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of seam work to blend in and make it look like it's one whole statue, but that's the fun of these plastic model kits, folks. Even beginners could get into something like this and make it look good. Even though it says skill level three, I think most beginners have the creative streak in them to be able to do something like this and do it right. That's what I'm trying to do here is encourage new people to get into this, to try something out that they didn't think they could do. So for this review of the Linda Carter Wonder Woman by Mobius Models Plastic Kit. I want to say a very big thank you to those of you who have subscribed recently. I'm sitting currently at 386, inching ever closer to 400. I'm in no big rush. Um, you guys are keeping this channel going, and I appreciate that so much. If I didn't do this, I'd be sitting here building every kit that I have in my collection, and I'd run out of room even faster than I already have. So thank you to all of you. This has been the Figure Kit Garage. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Build a kit.